This is not Moscow or one of its embassies abroad. It's a roundabout in Niger's capital, Niamey. And yes, that's Russia's flag, along with those of Niger, Mali and Burkina Faso. The three Sahel states that broke away from their long-standing alliance with France, a former colonial power in the region, and created a new security pact with Russia. The shift also involved walking away from a similar alliance with the United States. Wasting no time, the Russians are already here. At least three military cargo planes with training equipment and personnel have already arrived at the Niamey International Airport. On Friday, it was revealed that Russian troops had entered the same airbase near the airport where U.S. troops are stationed. The U.S. Secretary of Defense acknowledged the incident but tried to minimize its importance. The Russians are in a separate uh, compound and don't have access to U.S. forces or access to, to our equipment. The U.S. is in talks with Nigerian officials about an orderly withdrawal of up to 1,000 American soldiers who've been operating in Niger since 2013. They came here to train Niger's military on battling armed groups. In 2018, the U.S. built Drone Air Base 201 near the northern city of Agadez at the cost of $100 million. Now it has to abandon it. Niger ordered the American withdrawal after a dispute triggered by U.S. envoys reportedly talking about potential measures if Niger's ruling junta wouldn't reconsider plans to have closer ties with Russia and Iran. It's been a consistent U.S. stance since its initial operations in the Sahel region. But the move didn't go down well in Niamey. The government of Niger regrets the expressed will of the U.S. delegation to deny our country its right to choose its diplomatic and strategic partners and the type of partnership that can help it in the fight against terrorists. Propped up by a wave of popular antipathy towards Western superpower influence, Niger's military rulers felt emboldened to introduce their new policies in a decisive manner. They'd already kicked out thousands of French and European troops from the country. But when the last US soldiers leave, some fear that Niger's under-equipped and under-prepared army, with only a few dozen Russian advisors, might fail to hold its ground in the face of a multitude of armed groups that roam the country's 1.3 million square kilometers of desert land. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, Niami. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.